Hi, I am Gyoko Kostoski. I organize tours and festivals here in Ohrid. Today I will show you my hometown. Joko Kostoski was born in the city of Ohrid in North Macedonia. And he has five insider recommendations for visitors. Ohrid has about 40,000 inhabitants and is situated directly along Lake Ohrid, one of the oldest lakes in the world. It straddles the border between North Macedonia and Albania. Joko Kostoski's first recommendation is to visit Samuel's Fortress. Located at the top of the city's highest mountain, the imposing structure boasts a splendid view, stretching as far as the 2,000-meter-tall mountains across the Albanian border. The city of Okrit is full of the different historical and cultural monuments, and it's approximately old two and a half millenniums. Next, stroll through the well-preserved Old City. Since 1979, Lake Okrid and its surroundings have been a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Abounding with churches, monasteries, and cultural monuments, medieval Okrid was a spiritual center for Christianity. But the city's history dates back much further. This is the ancient theater of Okrid. It was built approximately 2nd or 3rd century BC. Firstly, it was a theater for theatrical shows, poetry, music and that type of things. But when the Romans came here, they converted this theater to be for gladiator fights. The amphitheater is one of the few ancient structures still preserved here. On some of these old stones, you can find uh, written names of the people that sit here. The people had the reservations for the theatrical shows for their whole life. This antique theater today is used for Okrit Summer Festival. Also, the city of Okrit has many cultural events. I organize Kostoski Festival every year in Okrit, and on Kostoski Festival can apply brass bands, majorettes, folklore dance groups, and choirs. There were once 365 churches in Okrit, earning it its nickname, Jerusalem of the Balkans. The most famous one is the Church of St. Sophia, dating back to the 11th century. Under Ottoman rule, the church was turned into a mosque for a time. The Church of St. Sophia is uh, built on the early Christian basilica, and inside the frescoes are one of the oldest frescoes from Byzantine time. Uh, the frescoes are uh, from 11th century. Joko Kostoski's third recommendation is to visit a pearl craft shop. Two families in the city have been creating pearl jewelry here for about 100 years. Their pieces are a hit among tourists and even European royalty. However, the pearls aren't even from Lake Okrit, but actually the Indian Ocean. And the secret is how they're prepared, adorned with scales from Plashitsa fish native to the lake. But she said it's very shiny, but I don't know much about pearls, so uh, <laughs> what, I, what I see is they look very nice and very uh, special. It is beautiful. Uh, I feel good. <laughs> about a century ago, the two families obtained the secret recipe for the pearl emulsion from a Russian immigrant, and they've been passing it down orally ever since, from one generation to the next. They prepare the pearls completely by hand, and the fish scales are the main ingredient in the otherwise strictly guarded recipe. The craftspeople apply the coating in eight layers. Чечината се исто од органско потекло, влакново е од вереверица или од опашка од коин. Значи, емулзијата е органско потекло, материјалот е органско потекло, чечето со кој Го обработиме седефастото зрно е органско потекло. Фактички све органско потекло. 
Lake Okrid isn't fed by rivers, but by underground springs. Estimated to be two to three million years old and about 300 meters deep, it's one of the oldest and deepest lakes in the world. And Joko Kostoski's fourth recommendation is go for a boat ride. The fascinating uh, it's the water of the lake because it's very pure. This is uh, not like uh, the other lakes that are smaller, that are green. This is very pure and uh, when you will see, you think that this is sea. It's not like uh, some other lake that you will visit. It's very uh, similar to the Baik uh, Baikal lake. Besides tourism, fishing is also very important for the towns around Lake Okrit. Its waters are home to some 200 animal species native exclusively to the lake. It's a popular destination among fishers, and many make special trips here from neighboring regions. You can also try freshly caught fish in one of Okrid's cozy restaurants, like Okrid trout, native exclusively to here. That's Joko Kostoski's fifth insider recommendation. The Okrid fish is very specific for the Okrid lake by its dots. It has some rod, uh, red dots that are very specific for this fish and uh, it has a, a big difference in the taste. It's more tasteful than the sea fish. If you liked these five tips for Okrid in the heart of the Balkan, please subscribe to our DW Travel Channel for more such videos.